What's going on guys, John Alder here from CodeWee.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to count unique data with pandas in Python. Hey guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at counting unique data with pandas. But before we get started, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeWee.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships on my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at counting unique data. And we've been using this dog data. And we can see we've got 2,670 rows of data. And we might want to know which of these is unique. So for instance, dog name, we might want to know how many Charlies are in our data set, how many arrows are in our data set, or how many unique things are in our data set. So how do we do that? That's what we're going to look at in this video. So I've got a file, I'm just calling it unique. And we've got our basic starter code that we've always got, we're importing our dog data. And let's just come down here and let's grab a specific column. And let's play around with this dog name column. So we could just go, you know, my underscore DF, and then pass in dog name. Shift enter to run this and we get this numpy array with all the dog name stuff. So okay, we've got this numpy array with all of our data, let's count and see like how many of each one there are. So we can just pass in our data frame. And let's just call a value underscore counts function. And when we do we get this numpy array, there are 35 Lucy's 30 Bella's, etc. Now, if we wanted to create a data frame out of this to make it look easier to read, we could just go pd dot data frame and then pass in all of that stuff. And eh, it looks a little bit nicer. And we might want to go, I don't know, dot head and pass, uh, let's say the first 50 of these guys, right? So we can really look at this. So okay, we've got 35 Lucy's, look at through here, 15 Riley's 15 Jack's, right? Nine Bentley's. And that's cool. So that's a nice way to get how many of each one there are. But we want to know how many unique names we might want to say, hey, this is great. But I want a unique dog name, I want one that there's only one other one of or whatever, whatever you want to do. So how do we do that? Well, we can come down here. And again, let's pass in our my DF dog name column, and we could just call the dot unique function. And we get a numpy array with just the unique things. And of course, if we wanted to set this up as a data frame, so it's easier to look at, we could pd dot data frame. And of course, we're calling pd dot data frame, because up here at the very top, we imported pandas as pd, right? We understand that. So we could then just pass this out and boom, here we go. Again, if we wanted to grab a specific number, say the top 50 unique names, here we go. And so Charlie if apparently is <laughs> very unique. There's no other, there's only one Charlie. There's only one Dakota. That doesn't surprise me. Only one Ike. Yeah, that makes sense. Only one Bailey. I don't know. <laughs> Bailey seems like a popular name, but apparently not. Only one Mimi Pearl Foster. That doesn't surprise me at all. Right? Oh, man, only one dude. Come on. There should be more dogs named dude. Right? Romeo and Juliet, only one each. Buddy, princess, very interesting. So we could just come through here and eyeball all of this and see, hey, these are interesting, unique names. And uh, very cool. So a very quick and easy way to both count the number of occurrences of a specific thing of data, and also to return only the unique things using value counts and dot unique. And it's just that easy. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codeme.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codeme.com, and I'll see you in the next video.